All right, when you build an airplane, you assemble, disassemble, and reassemble parts a lot of different times. And so we fit everything up, we've cut hat sections, and it's time now for us to go and do a final assembly stage. So we have taken this, uh, all the different pieces of hat section and U-channel for the number three bulkhead. We have primed them, and now we are going to use the uh, adhesive. It's just a silicone adhesive. This is going to get used to attach them to the frame. We'll get that all in place, we'll clamp it, let it secure into place, and then we can start the final assembly so that a lot of these pieces will be together for the final time. Some of them have been primed, some of them got final paint, so let's get to work. Okay, two steps to finish things off. We're gonna enlarge the holes to their final size. Uh, that's gonna be a number 30 drill, and we have a drill stop on here so we don't mar the finish of the paint. And then the second thing that we're going to do is we're gonna use these D Burr Masters, all of this from Aircraft Tool Supply. This is a great tool. So you wind up with a little excess material, which is burrs is what it's called, that happens when you drill sheet metal. And we need to clean that up before we put the rivets in. And so this D Burr Master has a spring loaded cutting edge. It's gonna go through and back and super quick, it's gonna get that all cleaned up and ready for the rivet. All right, so the urolane is mixed by weight. Uh, I've uh, covered this over and we're gonna put the can on here and zero everything out that we've got there. And then we've got this part A. Okay, so. When it's all mixed, you've got kind of this grayish goop. That's our urolane sealant. Let's build some airplane. Okay, so we're time sensitive. We've got our urolane sealant mixed up. Now it's time to put this number three bulkhead on, all the pieces. I'm gonna get some help from Jake and Ben uh, so that we can make this thing happen pretty quick. So. I'm just going to put on a thin layer of it across all these places that the number three bulkhead adheres to. Okay, so uh, now we've got this. So this has a little on-off valve. Now it's on, you can hear it running. When you do that, you just put one of these up to it and it sucks it right into place. And now we should be able to go in and put a first rivet in. Hold it in. That's it. 
All right, so we finished the forward side of the Station 3 bulkhead, and this was the first time that we'd worked with the adhesive. It's the first time we put our rivets in for kind of final time, and we're working against the clock, and we learned a ton. One of the things we learned, we can't get that much done in one shot, <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, we also learned that you should need to check in advance what the rivet gun can fit and what it can't fit because while this air to aircraft tool supply pneumatic rivet gun is just amazing to use and easy, it doesn't fit into all the tight spaces. And so we have this other super tight space rivet puller from aircraft tool supply. It's actually the original pop riveter that can get into these super tight locations and this came to save the day. We know what we're doing now. I think we're much better prepared to mix and and finish the rest of it. Uh, any other comments from you guys? Uh, no, I think it's it's a lot stronger than it was, so it's really cool to see it uh, progress. Yeah, yeah. Ben? Uh, no, it just it's really cool um, to see everything come together, just like you yeah. said. Yeah. So what do we do then after a tough experience when <laughs> when it's time for us to recuperate? Ice cream. So good. the team's gonna, we're gonna take a break. We're gonna get out of here and have some ice cream and call it a night. And uh, Jake will get to work on the next video that you get to see. Until then, thanks everybody. Blue skies.